we're talking about what is change maker like. So it's basically an, an ASU organization that tries to motivate students to like go and do something better for this world. The thing that we are discussing right now is the question that we are developing for ASU Change Maker Spotlight, which is like the new program that we are working on right now. And our first person that we will launch this with is Dr. Charles Artsen. And he was named like one of the most creative person of 2015 for his work with tobacco and Ebola. Well, I, I think the whole change maker idea is doing something non-linear and taking an idea. Normally you think about using plants for food or fiber. We think about them using them to make pharmaceutical proteins or antibodies to treat someone with Ebola or other diseases. Until Wednesday when we're going to meet out at the golf course. I have four doctorates. <laughs> I got an honorary doctorate from the Hebrew University. And that's, that's the medal that they presented. And this is in the uh, Rose Garden at the White House. And that's the Oval Office in the White House. Wow. All right, well, let's head off to the course. So first of all, what were you like as an undergraduate student? I was a bad undergraduate. Uh, I, <laughs> I went to the University of Minnesota. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to be. I went through en engineering programs. I was in mathematics for a little while. And essentially, uh, I enjoyed myself too much. I ended up being put on probation, kicked out of the university for a year. And during that year, I started working for a professor on the University of Minnesota campus. And he was in horticulture. And I think I'm lucky he saw some promise in me, sort of took me under his wing and said, I'm going to be your advisor and mentor. And uh, it was perfect. So you said this, you know, the change really come with someone believing in you. In a big university and like ASU, I think for students who are in a larger program, the best idea is to uh, get into uh, work with a professor. If you're in the arts, get in and do a special project. If you're in biology, get something that you can do in the lab. Have a project that you do as an undergraduate. It gives you not just a learning experience, but a time to observe uh, um, what the faculty are doing, what the other graduate students are doing, getting a good feeling for uh, what academic life is all about. You just get a better feeling for it if you're embedded in a, a laboratory and part of a study group on campus. So taking initiative is really the first, very first like Absolutely. logical step. Students must take some initiative find somebody, convince somebody that they have something to offer.
That was a great round of golf. Great. I enjoyed it. Me too. Thank you so much for talking to us, the change maker today. Um, it's really, really good to have someone like you to be supporting us, the change maker, and inspiring the new change makers at ASU. Oh, it's my pleasure. And anything I can do to help ASU, I owe a lot to this great university. So I'm happy to be working with you. Thank you very much. And this is Dr. Charles Arntzen, the first feature of Spotlight Monthly.